Hello, and welcome to Community Battlecast Primetime, Episode 4. I'm your host, Nod Soldier Girl. Let's start this episode off right with some community news. EA Sire has posted a new community blog featuring news from around the community. Check out the official CNC site for more info. If you're looking for a way to help out in the community, then look no further. Red Alert 3 Paradox is looking for a potential concept artist to do promo art for the upcoming Apocalypse Mini Mod and feature assets. Send your work to open underscore sketchbook at hotmail.com. Speculation begins as EA registers several new domains covering all three Command and Conquer universes. Fusible posted that EA had registered over 12 domains on December 2nd. So which one do you think it will be? I guess we will all just have to wait and see, now won't we? CNC Saga DE has been hard at work on their Tiberium Handcraft construction yard built by Master Killer. Be sure to check out more on their forums. Mod Spotlight Tiberian Essence mod for CNC3 has released four new Nod units, the Cyborg Reaper, Nod Nightwind Transport, and a redesigned avatar. To see more, head over to their ModDB page. CNC Reborn, a new dev blog has been posted talking about vehicle veterancy and also showing off the GDI Upgrade Center and Service Depot. To see more and read the full blog, get going to the Blue Hell production forums. Tiberian Sun Redux. New screenshots have been posted showing the Forgotten Mammoth tank. To see more, check their ModDB page. Mental Omega APYR. New maps. Highway No Way, which is a 2-8 to eight player map. And Yell Kraz Lagoon, which is a 2-3 to three player map. Also a new video for Mental Omega. Go watch the video on their website or on their ModDB page. CNC Labs have announced a new patch for the Red Alert mod for Red Alert 3. A change list has been posted on their website and they are hoping to release before Christmas. What a great present that would be! Renegade X. Community Q&A number 9 has been posted. Check out Jam Nub's YouTube channel for the new video. Tiberian Genesis. This mod has been featured in a Dutch magazine. This is really cool. Congrats guys! It's that time of year again, Commanders. Go to ModDB and vote for your favorite CNC mods. Also make sure to vote for your favorite CNC mods. See indie mods too. See the links in the description to get you started. Red Alert APB. New version has been launched. In this new version, there are various weapon changes, physics changes to vehicles, tech level changes, new graphical effects, and loads of performance tweaks. Be sure to hit up their mod DB page to find out more info and download the new version. Tiberium Crystal War. In case you didn't know, this mod is an FPS mod for CNC Renegade. This mod will eventually be a standalone when the time comes. So far, it looks good, but they could use some help with the mod. Take a look at their mod DB page to see how you can help out. Now, for the event you've all been waiting for. The Battlecast 3. I am Cybert, and I will be your host today. Game 1 is a good place to start, and it is Unleashed versus Bonus on Tournament Decision. The top right is Bonus, who is red, and playing as the Black Hand, and in the bottom left is Unleashed, playing as the Orange Nod. Both players start this game off right by getting some Tiberium Spikes, which is always a wise choice. Unleashed sends some attack bikes to harass Bonus's base, but Bonus has Scorpion tanks waiting. Unleashed backs out, but then launches a two-pronged attack at Bonus. Bonus destroys the armies of Unleashed again, and again, and again, and again, both in the north and in the south. Unleashed unleashes a precision timing attack on Bonus's base right as the laser capacitor upgrade finishes. Meanwhile, Bonus has been taking down Unleashed's southern expansion. Both players fall back. Bonus focuses on getting a redeemer while Unleashed focuses on air superiority and expanding to the North Tiberium field. Bonus launches a two-pronged attack on Unleashed's northern and southern bases. Unleashed doesn't care because he has a huge force of scorpions torching Bonus's base. Neither player is at home to defend and both main bases fall. Unleashed's scorpions are unbeatable though, and Bonus leaves the game. We are switching universes and headed into Red Alert 3 for the next two games. This one in particular is Doctor as the Red Menace on the left, and Anti-Darwin as the Purple Empire on the right, the map being Infinity Isle. Darwin starts the game by getting some extra dojo cores which he sends to the center ridge. They encounter the Doctor's infantry. Doctor jumps some sickles into Darwin's base, but they are destroyed by Darwin's chopper VXs. Darwin sells off his construction yard, and shortly after, Doctor advances towards Darwin's base. Darwin's main army moves towards Doctor, while his VX is flanked from behind. The Doctor slices through Darwin's forces, and both players retreat, but then they meet in the middle to duke it out. Darwin's tank busters melt through Doctor's forces, and some quick micro of the tank busters allows them to dodge the Doctor's apocalypse tanks. Tsunami tanks then crash some of the Doctor's economy. The Tsunamis then meet up with some VXs, and together they take down the Soviet MCV. Darwin's Tsunamis intercept Doctor's bullfrogs as they try to shoot down the VXs. The VXs then go on to destroy Doctor's War Factory 
and barracks, eliminating the Doctor's ability to make anti-air. Doctor moves into Darwin's base, hoping that with sheer force he can end the game. Darwin has too many VXs, however, and the good Doctor calls it quits. Today's final game is on Battle Base Beta, and it is between Cause, our orange allied player, and Yatavoy Rothabal, who I'll refer to as Rob, because that name. Rob decides to rush with dojos, but he doesn't produce a significant amount of infantry. Rob tries some harassment with tangus, but he doesn't get very far. Rob then tries a full assault and forces Cause to sell off an airbase and an ore refinery. Rob continues tearing up Cause's original base, but it doesn't matter because Cause has relocated to an expansion. After some back and forth and Cause bringing his MCB into the fray, Cause has to fall back. Rob takes this opportunity to clear out Cause's other expansion, leaving Cause with only one harvester. Both players build armies inside of their base and then they move out to destroy one another. A quick battle in the middle leaves Cause advancing on Rob's base. Cause cleans up Rob's base, but even with defeat looming, Rob fights it out to the end, even utilizing his ore collector's special ability to fight Cause to the last moment. One more thing before I go. In the comments or in the forums, let us know what game you most want to see replays from, or alternately, what game you don't want to see replays from. CNC Community Fan Art Time. First up is a piece from Fresh Style called Command and Conquer Generals. Next up is Command and Conquer from Mr. Riddy Unai. The next one is from Aircraft Killer and it commemorates the 10 years of Command and Conquer. Now we have one from Burrow Diablo. This is cover art for CNC3 which was made way before CNC3 was released. Looks pretty cool. This is from Bubalo. It's CNC artwork from the official site. Next up is Bear Arms by Fever Dreams. Now we have a Red Alert 3 postcard made by Phylon. Concept House made the next one a GDI medium Gatling tank. The next artwork is from Cadet Cheap. It's the GDI Mastodon. And Silva has made a cool image called CNC GDI and I believe it's still a work in progress. But it still looks cool. Up next the GDI Commando by Russell Lim. CNC Nostalgia by Schmithers. Global Defense Initiative by Marauder666. And I love these colors by the way. Leave us 001 with Kane Lives. Great job. Here's one from Adder24. The Tiberian Twilight Board. Next is a CNC dropship by Mickey-P. And now I have one from Facebook. This comes from Martin L. Sandberg, and it appears to have a GDI soldier in it. It looks really, really sweet. And the last image I have is from Starkiller2 VSY, and it's his GDI MLRS hovercraft. I also have some wallpapers from Ken's 3001. These were made for the Tiberium Crystal War mod. The first one is very sweet looking. It's a Scrin wallpaper. The next one is for all you Nod fans out there. Peace through power. For those of us who don't follow Kane or the Scrin, and this other wallpaper is for you. It's a GDI wallpaper. And the last wallpapers I have are for Renegade X. And if you're a Renegade X PS3 fan, then this is a wallpaper just for you. And so, another episode of Community Battlecast Prime Time comes to a close. Don't forget that the links to everything that was featured are in the description. Feel free to leave a comment on this video with your feedback, positive or negative. As always, if you have artwork or CNC news you would like featured, then email me at nodsoldiergirl at hotmail.com. Stay tuned and see you on the battlefield.